At the Summer 23 Balenciaga Mud Show, the 3XL sneaker was one of the centerpieces of the show. It came in a bunch of colors including white, yellow, and black. It being called 3XL, the point was that the shoe is oversized. We've seen chunky sneakers at this point, but at least in terms of mainstream brands and products that a lot of people would be able to see and buy, no one had really done anything quite like this. It's really elongated in the back, it's very wide, there's a lot of bulk to it, even in the laces. I love these 90s, like, well, I wasn't alive, I don't know. But like these thick laces, they feel so good. It was styled in the show in a way that showed off the size. It was paired with big pants and no pants to show the multitudes in which you can wear it. Ever since the show, I have been in love with the white pair until I went to the Balenciaga ski wear launch in Rome where I saw these. Here is a white and a black pair that was released for the ski wear collection. There are some differences, for example, when you look at the white regular 3XL and the white ski wear 3XL, the colors are different. And this is the ski wear collection, so there's a ton of ski wear that's been released like jackets and pants, snowboards, all that stuff. And because of this, one of the key differences is the shearling lining. Normally what makes these shoes so special is that even though they're so big, they're actually very lightweight and thin. So you could wear these in the summer. But for the ski wear collection, they're shearling line. And it gives them a crazy warmth. At the time of making this, I've worn these a couple times in very, very cold weather. And have been kept very warm by these shoes. These are Sherpa lined, which is pretty cool. It's to give warmth. The last big difference is the spikes on the bottom. These spikes are actually attached by chain to a rubber piece. That you can slide over the entire shoe. So the spikes are detachable, which is good. While I love the look of these spikes, you can't really wear them on regular floors and concrete as they'll damage the floors probably and the spikes themselves but they look so cool i believe they're intended to be worn in snow or other thick terrain like that so i don't think i'll get the chance to wear them but the shoes by themselves are beautiful regardless i'll be honest i have not worn the spikes i don't think i can without like breaking them i think you only can really wear them in like dense snow i don't really know when that's gonna happen but i love the way the shoes look regardless i originally wanted the white shoe and i wanted to get something from the ski wear collection i feel like when it comes to the white color the regular white one looks better and this like black one was just something different and especially as like i feel like i need more like winter options than just these big boots um like this shoe goes so much better with like my winter style i guess i meant that this black shoe goes better with my winter style than the white ones because i feel like with the white sneakers i go for like a more casual and like more colorful outfit palette but with black shoes i usually end up just doing an all black monochromatic look but i'm so excited for these because i live in the winter months chicago or new york and there's a lot of snow it's very cold there's a lot of wind so i love a sneaker that's like mesh and like dad sneaker vibe but like i can wear it in the winter so this is definitely something different i don't know when i'll get to use the spikes but i don't know and i've been like wearing trench coats i've been doing like big blue jeans like with like casual black jeans to give it like that you know seamless like continuous look i've been doing it with bombers trench coats like and i just like it all looks so cool there's a lot of different ways you could style it you can definitely switch up the vibe so i love it here are some fun ways that i've styled them so straight out of the store i was excited because even though i had had my eyes on the white one for a long time when i put the black ones on i realized that this would be a fun purchase because it would be within my aesthetic and my style i guess but i would be able to switch up what i normally do and i do like when i'm challenged that way so i noticed that this paired really well with the black jeans that i happen to be wearing and that an outfit like this would be so cool and since then i've made a ton of outfits that kind of follow that monochromatic style it is largely with these black jeans and i have a couple other black jeans that i haven't tried these shoes with yet but i know that the different cuts will emphasize the shape in different ways even more but these are just pretty baggy black jeans from bershka using these black jeans i've put it with a trench coat i've put it with hoodies i've put it with bomber jackets i like to either let the shoe be the most streetwear and bulky part of the outfit or i like to kind of have a big bulky streetwear theme throughout sometimes when i want to steer away from the streetwear theme I like to kind of throw it back to the vêtements era and I like to dress it up a little bit in terms of my outfit but then let the jeans and or the shoes have fun. I don't have any pictures yet because I haven't really done it in a good way but I know that these black jeans matching the black big shoes would look so cool with a fit black hoodie. It just hasn't really been weather appropriate so I haven't done it but it'll be on my Instagram so keep an eye out.
I really liked wearing these for the first time with this coat, which is the Z Gap round jacket, and then a RuPaul zip up hoodie under it. It was raining and it was cold, and I felt very warm. I liked being able to mix so many different textures while keeping the black color. You have the plastic or rubber or whatever of the Z Gap round jacket, the cotton on the hoodie, which is different from the cotton on the jeans, and then of course the shoes themselves have so many different materials. Walking around in this felt really comfortable. I was kept warm, and I think that it was a really nice monochromatic look. If I'm not wearing the black jeans with these shoes. I'm most likely wearing these jeans, which are the exact same pair from Bershka, but in blue. I felt like this paired really nicely with my big black Vetements bomber jacket, and I think that this helped emphasize the shape of the shoes in a completely different way, as well as the jeans, too. It just gave a different vibe. Like, even though it's the exact same pair of jeans, I feel like with the black jeans, it's almost a bit dressy, depending on what you put on top. But with the big blue jeans, it gave this fun, kind of 90s streetwear vibe to the shoes that is not always there in all of my outfits so yes i've been having the time of my life with these shoes i only have one little complaint but the thing has worn off the little label inside this is right after i got them so my guess is that the label wears off so easily so that people won't wear them and then return them thank you guys so much for watching i want to know what is your favorite like balenciaga ski wear item or do you like the 3xl shoes let me know i went to the balenciaga ski wear launch in rome which was so cool and that video like i recorded a lot of it there was like really cool like free stuff and like photo booth marshmallows all this cool stuff and you can see it it's up um it's really cool, so go check it out. Other than that, if you like this Balenciaga stuff, you're gonna love my whole channel. I have a lot of Balenciaga stuff up right now and Vetsmall stuff. I post a lot of my outfits on Instagram. Also, throughout this, if you've seen my tattoos, this one is good and it was like a sticker. These are drawn on and they look crappy because they're drawn on by me. But you can hit the link below. There's this really cool service called Inkbox and you get like tattoos that last like two weeks. It's really, really cool. I would definitely check it out. But that's all for now. I have to go. So thank you so much for watching. I don't know. Bye.